So, um, my name is Father Martin Latif, and I'm a chaplain here at USD. Uh, I was blessed to um, grow up in uh, Buenos Aires, Argentina, um, from parents that taught me the basics about uh, the faith, but it was not really until high school that I started growing into a deeper relationship with God. Um, so basically, uh, through good friends uh, who encouraged me uh, to um, come close to Christ in the sacraments, to go on um, summer camps and retreats, it is that I gradually started to um, develop a friendship with, with God. And, uh, and towards the end of my high school uh, years, I was able to go on an important retreat that helped me um, discern my, my call to the priesthood. So I would say uh, it, was a, it was a process um, through which I was able to, to draw closer to God. Hi, I'm Mary-Kate. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm a senior on the swim team, and I was raised in a Catholic family, so pretty much just a typical cradle Catholic. Well, the Eucharist is a great gift that God has given to us before He um, gave His life for us on the cross. Uh, the Eucharist is the, the real presence of Christ in this sacrament, meaning uh, after a priest celebrates uh, Mass, after he pronounces the words of consecration, uh, there's not any more bread there present or, or, or wine. What we have is uh, the very body of our Lord and, and blood of Jesus under the appearance of uh, bread and of wine. Um, and Jesus Christ asked the apostles in the Last Supper to uh, do this, to celebrate Mass in His memory. Uh, at the same time that He was uh, appointing them and, and instituting them as bishops or establishing them as bishops, He established this sacrament of the Eucharist uh, to be for us uh, a nourishment in this world uh, as we uh, journey towards Him, as we uh, live um, closer to Him, uh, a way to um, come in union with Him uh, like, like no other way. Um, so um, Christ uh, becomes present um, in this sacrament, uh, and not only He gives us His grace, but Christ also uh, gives us uh, Himself to us, meaning the source of, of grace and the source of every grace. So I guess the concept of Eucharist was first introduced to me and taught in second grade when we were going through our First Communion, um, the sacrament and everything. And we were always taught that um, like it actually is Christ when you are receiving the Eucharist in Mass. And um, I guess that's just what I take it as. And I know there's like various um, different beliefs throughout Christianity, like is the bread just a symbol of Christ or it, is it like actually him? But as a Catholic, we believe that it actually is Christ. Well, yes, when we come in friendship with Christ in the Eucharist, what we have is an interpersonal relationship uh, between uh, our Lord and the three persons of the Trinity uh, and, and each one of us. Uh, when, when, where Christ is present, the Father is present, the Holy Spirit is present, uh, God is one, uh, but also uh, He's the three persons, the Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit. So what we have in the Eucharist is certainly a nourishment, um, a source of grace, but also we have the opportunity to uh, to deal with God, to to grow in familiarity with Him, to grow in friendship with Him, uh, person to person, and so that's what also um, our we can say our soul, our nature thirsts for, uh, our nature thirsts for relationship, and that is something that we uh, certainly find uh, in the Eucharist. Not only when we are at Mass, but also when we visit Christ in the Tabernacle, when we go to spend some time with Him in adoration. Um, or just simply when we raise our minds to God during the day and we do a spiritual communion, meaning we, we, we receive the Lord uh, spiritually 
uh, even though we may be distant at a distance from, uh, from a church. Uh, and so those are different ways uh, through which we can converse, uh, talk to the Lord, uh, enter in uh, friendship and dealing with Him through the Eucharist. I would say the Eucharist doesn't exactly embody my core practices as a Catholic, except that it is like a founding principle of the faith. Um, but personally, I focus more on like living like Christ rather than focusing on one part of the Mass as with what I live by. So the Eucharist is certainly um, a source uh, of grace and a source of love um, for me in my uh, in my life as a priest because as I celebrate Mass every day I can say that um, each day each time I pronounce the words of consecration Jesus Christ himself comes uh, from heaven uh, to earth um, onto that alt altar in which I'm celebrating uh, Mass and so um, I, I have the grace of witnessing a miracle every day as uh, that uh, bread ceases to be bread to become the body of Jesus and, and as that um, wine ceases to be wine to become the blood of our Lord. So certainly it's a, it is a source of friendship for me, it is a source of grace for me, uh, and it's a source of wonder for me because of uh, the amazing uh, miracle that, that Christ does in the Eucharist each time a, a priest celebrates uh, Mass. But I think it also encourages me that uh, the faithful come to Mass, uh, that, part that participate from Mass, uh, and they, they also can um, be part uh, of this very same sacrifice and receive Christ also uh, in Holy Communion. So I think that's also um, a way through which uh, God uh, gives me courage, uh, gives me um, joy, gives me peace and hope uh, to see so many men and women coming to Christ in the Eucharist and also developing their friendships with Him as well. Well, I receive the Eucharist once a week at Sunday Mass. Um, and that's pretty much it. So uh, I uh, first uh, came close to Christ in the Eucharist uh, at a summer camp many, many years ago. When as I was a junior in high school, I had the grace of traveling down to uh, the Andes Mountains in Patagonia and spent, uh, and I was able to spend just about 20 days or so uh, with friends at a camp uh, and that was the very first time that I was able to witness uh, daily mass. I had gone to mass before with my family occasionally, um, not that often, uh, but it was not, it was, it was really uh, when I spent some time with Jesus at that camp, uh, uh, daily mass, that my, my devotion I think to the Eucharist began to, to grow um, and then after that um, I, I continued to participate from uh, from Mass somehow frequently and then of course as I entered the seminary after high school that was a, a, a daily opportunity that God was giving me to to receive Him in Holy Communion, to also spend time in prayer before Him every morning and to at times uh, converse with Him in adoration. Certainly after about 10 years of formation towards the priesthood I was ordained and uh, since then I, I have been able to celebrate uh, Mass every single day of my life I think uh, there was only one one day I wasn't able to celebrate Mass because I was, was terribly sick and I couldn't uh, celebrate Mass, but I, I always uh, look forward to celebrating Mass every day uh, and, and spend some time with Jesus in that way. In second grade, like I said, um, we went through First Reconciliation and First Communion as like a second grade class at my little elementary school, and since then every week at Mass. Yeah, so um, basically the Eucharist is something really important um, within my own religious community or religious order. Uh, one of the main, I would say, pillars of devotion we have is that of the Eucharist itself. 
Um, so we always get the opportunity to spend some time with Jesus every morning as a group of priests and brothers um, before Christ um, in the tabernacle. Uh, that's a certain great source of grace and consolation to be able to all together as a group um, to spend some time uh, with Jesus, our, our Lord, our, our Shepherd, our Master. Um, and certainly each one of us gets the opportunity to celebrate Mass um, every day. We, we also spend some time uh, on Eucharistic Adoration uh, once a week, um, again as a community. And, uh, and also we um, seek to invite others uh, to come and join us to spend some time with the Lord as well. We think that uh, the Eucharist is a great um, pillar, I think, of devotion in our, in our community and in order. And also it's a great, we can say, furnace of grace, a furnace of love from which we can draw a lot of, uh, we can say, spiritual warmth and, and, and a great deal of love. I learned about the Eucharist through my elementary school religion teachers and I guess in middle school and high school, like just our religion teachers, it was always a topic. I guess very broadly started with the Last Supper and Jesus breaking the bread um, and sharing with his disciples. And that's when he expressed that like that was actually him in, like his flesh was in that bread. Um, thanks be to God, I can say uh, the Eucharist has been um, a great source of consolation uh, in my life. I know that um, some people uh, struggle with um, the uh, real present in terms of believing um, that Christ is really present um, in the Eucharist. We know about even saints who um, had a difficult time um, and having uh, trust in our Lord in this sense in, in regards to uh, the real presence, um, like just like St. Thomas himself uh, doubted our Lord's uh, resurrection, uh, people get challenged in this way. But I can say that at least in this area of my life, the Lord has blessed me uh, by giving me a great sense of, I think, of faith and, tr and trust that He's present in this sacrament. And so it's something I, I, I'm always grateful and will ever be. In various communities of Christianity, like some people, um, are adamant that the Eucharist is not Christ and obviously Catholics firmly believe that like it's a um, pretty big part of their faith and so there's just I wouldn't necessarily say tension but definitely like disagreement over what it really is. That's a great question. I think uh, precisely the Eucharist is a great source uh, of unity uh, for us all. Actually, um, when we receive any type of nourishment, when we consume anything, uh, that particular meal of food um, becomes part of who we are in the sense that we assimilate um, the, the nourishment that we, that we consume. Um, it is exactly, I would say, the the other way around with the op or the opposite with the Eucharist. When we receive the Eucharist, uh, we are assimilated, we can say, into God. And so when we uh, receive Holy Communion, all of us, we, uh, all of us become one, we can say, in Christ. So I think uh, the Eucharist is a great uh, source of unity um, in the church. And also, uh, Christ is the way to the Father. Uh, through the Eucharist, uh, through Christ, we can go to the Father, to our Father, of whom we are uh, children and beloved children. So no matter what our race is or our social condition, or no matter what, um, or where we are born or, or what are our talents, uh, we all have received the, the blessing of having God as our Father, of being beloved children uh, of God. 
And so that's what really unites us. And the fact that, that we have that dignity and that great identity, which is to be loved by such a great and good God, uh, whom we can reach through Jesus Christ himself in the Eucharist. The only thing I can think of that would like be a relation between the two is that um, when you receive the Eucharist, that's like you accepting Jesus into your body and like into your mind. Um, and if you're living like Christ, then you don't have those like racial or um, actually I can't answer the question. No. <laughs> I guess for me, the Eucharist is just kind of like a weekly reminder to live my life like as Christ would and be the best person I can be. And because um, when you're like accepting Christ into your body, then that can like set you up for the week to be kind and gentle and everything that you would be. Thank you.